Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's the Hitman. This bout is scheduled. So much hype surrounding this big matchup. Can't wait to see what goes down when the opening bell rings. So all I can say, heaven on earth. Heaven on earth. You can tell both of these fighters are exuding confidence as they touch gloves. And here we go. And there's the bell to start the round. Do you believe this? see someone use a jab here to establish a boxing presence but no they just want to fight that one will count a lot of trash talk between these two fighters now it's time to put up or shut up this is not just hype. We are in for something special tonight. What an arena, what an atmosphere, what a build-up. Left hook, it's finding his target. A very competitive round here so far. Swing and a miss with the left uppercut. Skill for skill, tap for tap. It's like a match made in heaven. How about that time counter shot? Your footwork has to be on point when you're fighting a swarmer. If it's not, you're going to get caught in the corner and beaten up. You've got to be fit to fight a fighter like this because they will stay in your face. They will throw punches at you. They don't even let you breathe. You've got to be fit. If you're not fit, the fight's over. Right now, not where he wants to be. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Let's talk about Hatton in that last round. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. This fight has been very one-sided. What are we going to have in this round? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. A straight right just misses. Nice stop, but that won't score. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. This fighter embodies the cardinal rule of boxing. Hit and don't get hit. Do not give an outside fighter time to think. You've got to make the fighter panic. You've got to rush the fighter into doing things they don't normally do. Can they figure out the combination to this shape? Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Tried to score with a jab. It's like a game of joust. They both got their swords. They're slinging it. Nice counter shot. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. in that last round. Well, there was no doubt about it. They ring the bell, and here we go. 
Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. He's got a massive reach advantage. Let's see if he uses it. Never gonna happen. You've got a good jab. You've got a good reach. I know. Nobody could ever get past that jab. Someone tell these two that they can be defensive for a minute if they want to. Punch, counter punch. Punch, counter punch. A straight right just misses. Both fighters landing in these exchanges. Judge is going to have a tough job. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. jab in this fight, you'll get knocked out. Straight right just misses. When are we going to see a jab from these two? You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. in that last round. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. <sighs> you know what? I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up, bell, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen this. And there's the bell to start the round. Well, they got battered last round. How do they turn their fortunes around? This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Well, Johnny, it's still early on, but what do you think about what we're seeing so far? Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tactics. Sometimes it's so hard to actually outbox a fight and beat them on points. Starting to take some deep breaths now, but still fighting hard. We're at the halfway point of this round, and both of these fighters have had their moments. Still could go either way. Just missed with that jab. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Well, with welterweights, they sometimes bring you the best of both worlds. Fast hands and power. Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. They both want to knock out, you can tell. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. in that last round. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Uh, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down.
powerful counter punch. They miss with the jab. Needs to put some combination work together. One punch is good, two punches better. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You could tell who it is. Oh boy, Amir Khan, days. And Amir Khan finally on the canvas. Wow, let's take another look at that. Even I'd. up but the corner has to take some responsibility here and maybe stop this fight he's up but, but for how long look at that on the heels but look at it's left there there's no defense the eyes are glazed it just takes one more clear shot a clean one and he's out of there just misses with that final 10 seconds here and the corner is going to have their work cut out for them talk about Khan in that last round. Boy, this next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown we just witnessed. To make or break a fighter. They ring the bell and here we go. Got to get the momentum shift coming their way. What can they do here? Todd, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything, full battle because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. You can see the heavy breathing, but that's not slowing him down. Well, Johnny, we're in the early stages here. What have you seen so far? Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've done the ring with fights like that and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? And we're going deep into the gas tank on this round. What a round so far as we've reached the halfway point. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Is he going to punch himself out, though? Well, Johnny, has anything surprised you here as we enter the final frames of this battle? You've got to ruffle their feathers, Tom. You cannot let them get comfortable, drag them, get them complaining to the referee because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm, the fight is over. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Exchange punches. Let's talk about Hatton in that last round. What would you tell this guy? He's got to do something different. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're going to get a kitchen sink. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. So the fight will continue. How do they turn things around? That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until your senses have come back. That hook was thrown with some bad intentions. Nice counter shot. fight so far, Johnny. 
I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch right through you. So you've got to be careful. This is not good news for Ricky Hatton. <clears throat> again in slow mo He's back on his feet, but his opponent is licking his chops right now. Oh, he can smell blood. Look at that. He's put in round walls. He knows what shot works and where to land it. Then try and do it again. He's just not got to get trigger happy. Catch and shoot. Ten seconds to go, and what domination we've seen in this round. Clipped. Let's talk about Hatton in that last round. What a huge momentum swing that's going to be, considering that round will be 10-8 after the knockdown. You've been put down. You've got to think right, survive, and then give it back the next round. They ring the bell, and here we go. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got to hustle now. He's got to, he's got to bluff them. A swing and a miss with the right hook. time they throw a shot they get countered the straight right just misses Ricky Hatton couldn't take anymore and down he goes as you can see it was a hit to the head that did it let's watch it again where did that come from what a shot a good start to the round for this guy. They got knocked down, but didn't stay down. Once again, showing you how much grit and courage this fighter has. Well, now it's about getting back to the corner, freshen up, get new instructions given to you, and they've got to G you up. They've got to tell you what you're doing wrong and what you're doing right. Somebody can smell blood here. They can smell blood. They've got to be smart. Get in there. Then, boom, back in the same spot again. We're about to see Ricky Hatton go down. He had not go to the canvas. I don't care who you are. When you get caught with a body shot like that, you're going down. That's lights out. about Hatton in that last round. They get one minute between rounds. This fighter wished it was 10 minutes after being dropped twice in the last round. There's always a... And there's the bell to start the round. Last round was a disaster. What can they do here to turn this around? I have no idea what they have left. What, how how do you come back from something like that? Not on twice? How, where's your head at? Where's your energy levels at? It tells you you've got nothing left. One of these athletes is going to say, I can't take it anymore. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? They know the second they touch you, it's done. They're that powerful. Stamina is off the charts. Nice 
words exchanges from both men in this round. Both men step back for just a moment. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. This fighter has been extremely aggressive so far, Johnny, but how do they keep it up over the... This is not how the story was supposed to go for Amir Khan. Down goes Amir Khan. And as we see it again, there's no way to get up when you get clipped with a shot like that. You're right, Todd. What a... So time to go celebrate.